Hey guys, and welcome to Everything Round with me, Pablo. Today we will be doing an educational video on how plants are classified and how they have evolved over millions and millions of years. This is the most popular video on my channel to date, so I decided to make a remake. But before that, please like the video, subscribe for gaming, vlogs, and more, click the notification bell so you know when new content drops, and share this video with your friends. Now that you've done that, we can get into the video. First, we will talk about non-vascular plants. When plants first went on land about 500 million years ago, they were very simple. You see modern plants use special tissues that allow them to move nutrients, water, hormones, and other things throughout their bodies. This allows them to transport their nutrients for far distances, which allows them to grow big and tall. These tissues are called vascular tissues, hence vascular plants. The non-vascular plants did not have these, which is why they only grew a few inches. These plants include mosses, liverworts, hornworts, etc. These plants don't use seeds, but instead reproduce using spores and other things. Now we will talk about vascular plants. These plants have vascular tissues, unlike the ones we just mentioned. They also have fruit and flowers, something that non-vascular plants don't have. Flowers have both male and female parts. They produce pollen, and when pollen goes from flower to flower, sometimes by air or by pollinators such as bees or hummingbirds, the flower comes up and be the flower closes up and becomes a fruit. And on the inside, seeds begin to form. Plants cannot pollinate themselves. There are two main types of vascular plants, angiosperms and gymnosperms. Gymnosperms are conifers, which don't make flowers or fruit necessarily, but have seeds encased within a cone-like structure, such as a pine cone. Angiosperms are plants that produce flowers. Now we will talk about two main types of angiosperms, monocotyledons and dicotyledons. We must first learn about seeds to perfectly understand this. On the inside, of there is an embryo that, sp that sprouts into an actual plant. It is enclosed within a single, or between two, cotyledons, which are leaf-like structures, structures that provide nutrients for the plant. On the outside of the seed, there is a coating called the testa. Many seeds also have a hole on the side called the hypocotyl. A monocot has a single cotyledon, such as a corn kernel and a dicot has two, such as a lima bean. There are other ways to tell the difference though. Monocot plants have flower petals in multiples of three, parallel veins in their leaves, and sprawling fibrous root systems. Dicot plants have flower petals in multiples of four or five, have net-like veins in their leaves, and have a long tap root rather than a sprawling root system. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you get notified when new content drops. So, without further ado, my name is Pablo, and I am signing off. Goodbye, and see you in the next one.